Hey, Patreon, once again, guys, thank you for support. Um, I want to just show you a quick scheme. I'm not really going to go into uh, an extensive breakdown of all the different types of uh, coverages uh, in this. I'm just going to do a quick breakdown uh, against just random nickel defenses, uh, you know, uh, dollar defenses, and how I'd run this scheme. Now, this is out of the gun double Y flex, du gun double Y flex. Uh, it's got a lot of great plays. Uh, first and foremost, it comes with a stock uh, inside run or uh, inside zone. Inside zones uh, essentially are one of the better running plays right now in the game as as the game as the game evolves we'll realize what what runs are the better the runs especially when we get to to the uh, the Madden, uh, Madden challenge um, play action deep outs has got these deep out plays that are very very um, good you've also got a nice deep in uh, post in the middle so we're, we're gonna go and play around with that uh, double slants I hate slants. I'm not a slants person, so we're going to go ahead and remove that. Um, we're going to swap, swap that out for flood. We also have four verticals, um, a very generic play. I don't really care for that. We're going to go ahead and swap that out for the halfback, or sorry, the shark halfback wheel. This has got really good route combinations. Beats man coverage. It beats uh, basically underneath coverage. It, it forces your opponent. You can beat cover two with this, and it's also got um, a unique cover three beater too. So let's go and swap out double slants. We're going to swap that out for this particular this play right here, which is flood. This is going to give you a flood concept going off to the left, and then um, four verticals. We're going to go ahead and you know, swap that out for the shark halfback wheel, which is going to focus on our attack off to the right. Out of the huddle. Uh, the play we're going to call is going to be this um, Y sail. This is going to be our play where it's going to have man beaters, it's going to have levels concepts, you're going to be able to hit your opponent in the flat. Um, the only thing that this particular uh, formation is missing, it's missing a nice little halfback angle route. That would be the only thing. Otherwise, this is probably one of the best formations in the game uh, with the pace, pace selections or play selections in this New England playbook. So I really do like this. But let's come out of the half the Y sale and kind of go with that. Um, let's go with uh, basic um, uh, formations. We're going to go with either random nickels. Uh, let's see what kind of nickels formations we have. We have dollar here, uh, prevent. We're going to go random nickels and just assume that um, our opponent is going to be hitting us with nickel coverages. So with Y sale, um, you've got a, a nice combination of routes off the left. You've got a whip route, which is really good effective against man coverage. You've got a dig route, which is really effective man coverage. And the whip actually pulls a, a defender down, allowing that dig on the left side open up. Now we also have a sale concept off to the right, where we have the running back and then we have the the, the tight end going up and releasing uh, the fly route again essentially is something i'm not going to hit especially when i'm seeing a three high shell look like this which is which means it's either a cover three or a cover three sh a high shell or a match covered now my first read is going to be cohen i'm going to go ahead and hit him especially if you see that little press like that I'm going to go ahead and dink and dunk my opponent all up and down the field with that particular route right there. That's going to be our first read. Now, a little bit different look here. Guy's got press. It looks like it's probably man coverage. So I've got a couple man coverage beaters. We've got Miller. That's a man coverage beater. We've got Graham. We've also got Cohen, which is a man coverage be beater. Uh, Cohen is a high percentage pass. You can go ahead and hit that. Um, but when we see man coverage again, we'll jump. We'll, we'll talk about that. All right, so we've got off coverage right here. Once again, we're going to look to the flat. And this is what's cool about this particular play is that you've got this dig concept. So let's just go ahead and jump into this replay and show you what I was looking at with these reads. So I'm looking at this pick of the route right here first. He's my first read, and you can see this guy flattens out and actually comes after him. So my next progression is going to be this route, and a lot of times this route is going to get separation, especially when you have an elite route runner like Graham. Graham doesn't have the speed like he did, you know, six years ago, seven years ago, but he's still a very, a very uh, good route running tight end. So he's always going to get separation. So I could throw him that, but. When it comes to any kind of like a, a man principle, I want to go ahead and do the high percentage pass. I've got the little whip route right here, which essentially is going to be where I'm going to go. This defender actually comes down because it was a blitz off the edge. So he comes down and actually takes away the passing lane. But because there's a whip and then we have a dig and I've got a high route running uh, elite wide receiver, I mean, I know I could throw this and get a, a big completion. And look at that. It's on the 50 yard line. I'm throwing off of the 35 and picking 15 yards off that route. So got uh, looks like the um, defensive back is coming down, perhaps in a blitz. He is blitzing. Uh, so you've got this particular route right here that's really good against that man matching principle too. 
And I'm, I'm trying not to force this, but that whip route concept right here uh, is just, it's just money. Sometimes you can get really good separation with that whip route comp, comp, uh, concept down here. So now we've got the press look. This is exactly what we're looking for. And you can see the whip actually doesn't get covered up. I'm going to get rid of the ball right there. I was actually watching the whip. The defender actually came down to it. But um, I love this play because this is just a good play that you can run. Um, it's a nice little stock play that you can run against your opponent. And, you know, no one goes out to that, that running back route. You can actually hit that. You've also got this route right here on the back end side. So I'm getting a lot of man print principles right here, but this is just really, really good. Um, this is a really, really good play to go and use against your opponent. Uh, essentially, it's, it's, it's got all the things that you need to go ahead and beat him up down the field. Now let's go and take a look at the next play. It's going to be the flood concept. All right, so my progression I always start with is always going to be that corner route. The fly route is just a clear out route. I'm never looking at that fly route. It's just clearing out the zone. I'm looking at the corner route by the, by the um, slot receiver. And if, if I get the leverage where he gets inside positioning, positioning or outside positioning going to the sideline, I'm going to, I'm going to throw that to the sideline. Uh, and then I've got a levels concept over the middle. The check and release with the running back is just another clear out route. I'm really ever going to look at that. So here's the first area I'm going to look to. I'm going to look to that corner route. That's going to be the first place I'm going to go to. Now I threw the ball late because I was, I was trying to um, uh, just kind of show you that I was going to I was trying to force that in there. But that is going to be the area that you want to go uh, with that route. So let me go ahead and put some more speed in that slot position. All right. So Miller is my slot receiver, but I've got. I got a really good wide receiver um, in Patterson that has got 91 speed. He's got really good acceleration, and he's probably going to break away a little bit better. So he's going to be a more ideal situation in slot position. So let's just see um, if we can get that off there. So nice little inside run. Yeah, empty box. Go ahead and take the easy yards when you get him. So we got Patterson right there. He's not going to be able to break off the press as well, but he's going to get better separation because he's just slightly faster than that. So that's how you want to force that that ball right there. So this is a this is a good play. It's just levels concept. I'm looking at basically three routes, and I've also got this little tight end route. Okay, so force that in there, uh, just because I just wanted to get something out to you. So, but you want to go to the corner route. That's going to be the area that you want to go to. And then you got the little check down with the levels concept. So what's good about this particular play is that it's very easy progressions and reads. Um, the bad part about it is that um, ba Ooh, look at that. I got baited. I got baited. I, the, I felt the, I felt that the defensive back was actually floating up and actually threw right into coverage. So that was a good thing about the CPU. Bad thing for me. As you can see right here, I'm actually going to go ahead and get those easy completions like that. So it's just something that you can throw into this game. Uh, you've also got this dig route by the tight end, uh, and that's another level too. So if he comes down and bites to the drag route, you can hit the, the hit the tight end route. And I'm not looking at anything else. Now let's go ahead and take a look at the the, the shark halfback wheel. Now this play um, it was a really really good play last year. It's a little bit toned down this year, um, primarily because I can't hit hit that post right away a lot of the defensive backs especially since i got a star our star defender over there that post is, is not as effective as it used to be but it is designed to be cover four it is des designed to be cover a uh, cover three now my first read once again is going to be the running back so it's going to be similar concepts as previously my running back is going to be my first read then i'm going to look to patterson coming over the middle because he'll be following up past the running back and then if it's man coverage graham will be wide open and then again uh, over the top against cover three will be available for uh, for for a touch on opportunity uh, so we're going to be looking to the flat right away i want to go ahead and force my opponent to defend that now see the ball came out hot uh, actually overthrown uh, by the receipt uh, by the the qb uh, but that route right there oh and he keeps overthrowing it i know what's going on right here so let's just see if we can just take one more step right here all right so uh, defenders actually fell back into the zone. Um, I'll show you what I was looking at and my reads and regressions. So I'm looking right here. I'm looking at the running back right away. I'm seeing what happens. So you can see these defenders are actually coming out. This defender's kind of splitting the difference right there. 
My next progression is going to be this route right here, but you can see he's he's going to be rolling right into another defender. Now, I could probably throw this because the defender is actually manned up on him. See how he's got his back? Uh, he's got his back uh, uh, opposite to the quarterback. That means it's a man coverage type situation. But historically, man coverage, this in route by the tight end will not be covered by, by that. So I knew that was my next progression. That was my third progression in read. So we're going to go back to the halfback sh shark wheel. And for some particular reason, Trubisky is his is he's sailing that ball. I actually just sat there, didn't move, didn't move my stick a stick at all. So here's your next next read, and what makes this particular play so special is that it works kind of like um, a screenplay with this drag. So this is a play that I ran into an opponent that ran it against me uh, a, a few years ago, and he just ran the play the entire game, and I had a hard time stopping it. But this is your first read. Um, well, I'll figure out how to go and throw this correctly because uh, Trubisky keeps sailing the ball. It should be going off uh, in the sideline. But you can see right here the defender actually floats out. I've got this guy actually clearing out. I've got this 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 route right here um, going on an angle. Now, I, what's cool about this particular play is that if this flat route is, is is gobbled up by defender, your next progression is right here. And if I see the pack of the defender, I'm just gonna go check it down and actually hit this. So when he catches the ball, typically what happens is you can turn it up. So look at what happens. I get myself a nice little seal block, and this guy's not fast enough to keep up with Patterson, and I can go house with that. So we're just gonna go to this again. And Let's see if we can get this. Yeah, I was gonna go ahead and try to, to uh, get that. I uh, Basically, that should have been a touchdown opportunity. We're gonna go back to, uh, to this. So I think I'm throwing that ball a little bit too early. We're gonna wait just a little bit. I'm, I'm, I'm labbing this, this formation right now. As you can see against man coverage, uh, he can't use her all these different areas uh, because of how the action is going. You just can't do that. So I'm just waiting for the flat to open up. And here you go. So there was an opportunity for a big play right there because we had man matching type situation. And, oh, I'm going to get rid of the ball. So defensive end just basically ate up my right tackle right there. So... Uh, Let's go ahead and see if we get the flat open. So is the flat open? Nope. But let's see if we can get this. So just a bad throw by Trubisky. Not a huge deal, but I'm just trying to work this for you guys. So you can hit that over the top if you get a man matching principle with, with a good running back like Cohen. And we just need to wait a little bit um, on that running back route. So that's what I've, uh, what I've just, I was throwing it too early. I, I just jumped into this formation. I wanted to show you that conceptually, this is something, the concepts are all the same um, as, as previous Madden. So let's just go and see if we can hit that. Okay, here you go. Um, that was a cover two beater right there. Um, and because the defensive back actually came down, let me just show you what my read was. All right, so got a double a gap this guy spreads out boom this guy spreads out boom so I've got I know I've got basically um, a cover two shell now uh, th these guys don't play mid zones it's just gonna play hook zone so you know they're not gonna get over to the middle of the field so my first per read is gonna be over here Look at the defensive back actually comes down and just bites down on that that ball my next progression right here this defensive uh, def the guy actually comes out and bites that. So if I throw that, I just have to hope I throw it uh, where I can get myself a block underneath it. But where was the big play opportunity? It was this deep post, which against cover three is not really that special unless you wait for it to develop, but I can actually hit this route and get a nice big completion. So uh, Trubisky spraying balls for me, but uh, you know, I just, I'm playing with the Bears because they're my home team. Now on the back side, you've got basically um, uh, a deep comeback route. Uh, I'm kind of thinking comeback routes this year are, are kind of nerfed. They're not like what they used to be. Um, so, got double team right there. 
and I'm trying to get the ball off to the deep, deep pass, and uh, Trubisky is getting block shed right there. So let's just go and see if we can hit the deep comeback route. We got the one on one. And it just, it, they don't seem, to, deep comeback routes just don't seem to be as good as they used to be. I might be wrong, but that's what, that's my take. All right, so let's go ahead and take a look at the play action deep outs. Um, I would probably prefer to block my running back. We can run this stock or we can go ahead and take the tight end and actually put him on a drag route or a whip route. This will help you with your progressions and reads. So you can go ahead and hit the whip route with the tight end. That's will give you a fast read. Conversely, what you can do is you can take the tight end, put him in a drag route. This is going to give you a levels concept. And it's going to force force the force your guy to basically go ahead and choose high low. Uh, so he actually played played high. Uh, let's see with the post what type of results we get with the post. All right, so. Here's an opportunity for a big play. Now, see, if Trubisky had a bigger arm, if I had 90 overall or so, that would essentially been a, a one-play touchdown opportunity. Let's go ahead and see if we get it again. Nope. nope. Okay, see, there you go. There was an opportunity right there. Even though I had the central fielder that actually knocked that out, that's another area that you can hit your opponent with. So one of, a lot of times what, what people will do is they'll do something like this. They'll do a setup like this. They'll put two drags underneath uh, that post route, and that will actually give you an opportunity to hit that post right over the middle. I got the ball getting knocked out because I got Smith over the middle, uh, but it's really trying to establish um, these runs underneath. So let's go ahead, or the, the deep outs. The deep outs are really good against man coverage. You can pop those and actually pick up some pretty good yards. So this will allow you to go ahead and tack your opponent with levels off to the left. You've got this shark halfback wheel off to the right. You got play action deep outs. You've got two deep outs and your inside receivers you can go and play around with. You got a nice big post over the middle. Uh, inside zone. Uh, and then obviously you've got uh, basically this Y sail play. You got a flat, you've got two flats, you've got a dig route, you've got an out route, and then you've got these, these plays that are going to stretch the field. I'll jump into some play, gameplay right now and just show you uh, and play now against the CPU on how you, you just you can pretty much chew the computer up, up and down the field, get it down to the red zone. Um, so just want to show you how that works. So uh, once again, guys, thank you for your support. Let me go ahead and jump into some gameplay for you right now. All right, so guys, I'm going to go ahead and show you uh, this uh, doubles gun doubles y flex formation and uh basically i'm gonna go ahead and set this up where i just play offense only so i can just work on this not work on defense uh, that's one of the best ways if you want to work on a particular scheme and get your reads down is just do the uh offense only feature in the play now feature so get in here and then basically what we're going to do is we're going to go to uh this formation which is going to be the gun doubles Y flex set up our audibles we're going to put flood at the top right here shark halfback wheel so these are going to be our audibles flood inside zone shark halfback wheel then play action deep outs and then out of the huddle we're going to we're going to call the Y sail this is a really good play right here so these guys are all pressed probably man coverage um, so what we're gonna do is let's go with with the levels concept of flood um, I could leave uh, the the Y sale but we're gonna go with flood with the anticipation I'll be able to hit this deep corner route uh, for a huge completion right there so that was actually cover one uh, thief press uh, so that could have baited me into a bad play let's go into the Y sale once again we're gonna watch Cohen to the flat and see if a defender actually comes out to that. Nope. So we're just going to go and hit that. And because there's space uh, and because Cohen's got good speed, I've, I've been able to go and hit uh, just another first down um, underneath like that. So back to the Y sail. Um, three high safety or three high defensive back look. We're going to go with this. we got a whip route. And whip route actually got pretty well covered by the defensive back right there, but you can see the separation. That's how I can hit that. 
uh, out of that cover one one uh, uh, linebacker blitz. Let's go back to the wide sale once again. Now I get an empty box. I don't see a lot of guys in the box, so we're just going to go ahead and take a peek. And got some good blocking with the, the uh, a center center double teamed and, sp and then peeled off to the linebacker. So that's why that's why I was going to run behind that center. Back to the wide sail. Off coverage right here. <clears throat> We're gonna go with the shark halfback wheel. Now I gotta wait until the defense until the running back turns up if it's basically there's no defender out there uh, to hit the running back. I'm gonna look for the crossers, uh, Patterson, then Graham, and then again for the top. Nobody goes. Throw. And just missed it. So threw the ball a little bit early, but you can see he was wide open based on that uh, read. So you want a little bit higher percentage pass. Um, this route is going to be a little bit higher percentage. And you can see uh, the table route. Let's go ahead and take a look at an instant replay and see what transpired in this. This is, this is a glitchy route. I know other YouTubers actually have exposed this, so I just want to show you the table route. So it was a quarters defense, but let's watch the table route. This guy stops. Why he stops is beyond me. I think that he thinks he pulls up for some particular reason. And this is after I got rid of the ball. So this defensive back should actually be coming down to the ball, but he doesn't play it correctly and I'm able to get a nice little completion. So that's a glitch in the game. It doesn't make sense. All right, so we only got, we got basically a light box. So we're gonna go ahead and run the ball. And come on. So the guard stayed on his block and then peel off and take out that linebacker. So that actually, was not a good situation for him. It's going to go back to the Y sail. We've got a uh, cover three shell. We're going to go into the, the, the shark halfback wheel. And that was a man matching principle right there. And that was my read. I'll show you what I was looking at. So it was a cover three match. I'm looking at this guy right here first. And you can see this defender actually comes down. He doesn't float into his zone. He bites down. So I know that it was actually taken away. Now I could have popped this guy, but I would have been throwing right into his passing lane. So I could have potentially got picked off. But because it's man matching, and this defender actually just pulls out of the area, I'm just gonna go ahead and pop this this uh, this uh, over the middle route, this dig route for an easy completion. All right, so back at it again. By flex, jump in the sail. Press coverage, I'm seeing cover two man. So we'll just go ahead and jump into this. Because Robinson should clear out the defensive back and the Patterson should be available on the sideline, which I was expecting right there. And able to go ahead and turn that up and rack that up for some more yards. So seven for eight for 77 yards right now. And let's go into the shark halfback wheel. Let's see if we can hit that running back route. See if that's available to us. Nope, but we're gonna hit the dragger underneath. And then we'll see where we get the blocking right there. So that's what's cool about that particular route. It kind of works like a pseudo screen. Back to the Y sail, got off coverage. Let's see the play action deep out. We're gonna cancel out the, um, the uh, running back animation. And I threw that a little bit late. So that's why I almost got picked off. I should have thrown it a little bit sooner. Uh, but the, the, the cover nine show two kind of messed me up a little bit. So let's just go back to this this play right here. Okay, so look at a box. Box is wide open. We go and run it. And pick up some easy yards. I can now huddle into the Y sail. And right here, I've actually got the little whip route. So just like, it's just, just dinking and dunking your way down with this particular scheme. It's really, really cool. Let's go to the shark halfback wheel. And let's see here. So I had to throw that a little bit early because I was going to be throwing into a passing lane right there. But I was showing some man matching principles. It was cover six, so that's why there was some man matching principles on that type of a read. That's why some of the guys would actually carry. Let's go back to this play once again. Ugh. 
So wide open, edge actually came off and actually disrupted that pass, but I actually had, um, I, it looked like I was gonna basically complete this ball. I've been waiting to try to get this ball out, out to this, this running back route, and he was wide open because this is a drop coverage and he carried with it, leaving this zone wide open. And because um, I couldn't hold my block, that's why I didn't get that ball off, but you can see that it was wide open and it was my first read. Go back to this play again. All right, so I got man coverage, and we're going to take off the quarterback. Pretty much everything got locked up on that, uh, but because man coverage doesn't actually take care of the quarterback, then you know you can run with it. So this is just it's just a little subtle thing that you need to know um, when you're playing um, online is that man coverage will give you running room for your quarterbacks. And nobody out in the, f oh, see, look at Daniel Hunter uh, is basically eating me up right there. Actually gonna be able to hit that flat, that flat route should have been wide open. So back at it again. Got press coverage, it's looking like cover two. Might be, have some edge pressure. And Graham's not able to hold on to it. I actually was anticipating him to go the inside. Uh, because I just I forgot the play that I was using. Let's do levels concept right here. Ideally, you want to go off to the right side. Let's go back to the halfback shark. And this is what makes this play interesting is that little dragging route right there. So if you throw it a little bit earlier, it'll be better for you. So I'm gonna jump out of this, but I just wanted to show you, you can work your way down the field. This, this is not necessarily how I wanted to close this out. It would've jumped into a different offense once I got inside the 20. But once again, guys, I hope you picked up some tips on this. Thank you for your support, and until next time.